The history of the Liberty Ship John W. Brown began on July 28, 1942, when her keel was laid on Way 12 at Baltimore's Bethlehem Fairfield Shipyard. She was the 62nd Liberty Ship built there. The ship would be named after a prominent labor leader who had died the previous year. She spent only 41 days on the ways. Christened by Mrs. John Green, wife of the president of the Shipbuilders Union, John W. Brown slid gracefully into the waters of the Patapsco River on Labor Day, September 7, 1942, along with two other Liberty ships also named for labor leaders. The newly launched Liberty ship was moved to the shipyard's fit-out pier, and only 12 days later, following a day-long trial trip on Chesapeake Bay, she was delivered to her operator, States Marine Lines, to begin a busy wartime career, carrying cargo and troops to the battlefronts in the Middle East and Europe. Fully loaded and fitted with defensive armament, John W. Brown began her maiden voyage, the first of eight trips she would complete by war's end. Following the completion of this long first voyage to the Middle East as a standard Liberty cargo ship, John W. Brown took on a new assignment. She was the first Liberty ship fitted out as a limited capacity troop ship capable of carrying up to 350 troops. Thus equipped, the ship sailed in convoy from Hampton Roads for the Mediterranean with troops and more than 5,000 tons of cargo.